Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I've got a quick update for you to my Devil May Cry 3 SE for Windows 10 video that I made last week. I got into the game and got onto level 3 or 4 and realized that the left and right triggers were not switching guns and wet weapons correctly. And I was having some frame rate issues as well. So this video here is just a quick update for the things that I, the changes that I made to my setup to resolve those particular issues. And I also wanted to show you how the game runs at 21 by 9. So I hope you enjoy the guide. We'll talk to you later. So we just want to make a couple of quick updates here. Uh, so we're going to go into the Devil May Cry 3 folder in Steam. For me, that's D, Game, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Devil May Cry 3. And we want to open up the DMC3SE.ini. Now, in the previous video, if you copied that configuration that I was showing, I had L2 and R2 both set to 255. I'm not sure where I got that value, but that's not the right value, and that's never been the right value. So I just tinkered around with all the different variations, and L2 equals 10, and R2 equals 11 is the right value for Xbox One. So while you're playing the game, if you hit L2, it'll switch to your guns, and if you click R2, it'll switch your main weapon. And then a couple other tweaks that we got here as well, if we go into style switcher.ini, I didn't mention in the last video that the mode option here is, is full screen. So it's set to zero by default, which is windowed. So I changed that to one to get full screen. Then on the resolution here, I've got a 21 by nine monitor. So originally I had 3440 by 1440 at 60 hertz, but the 60 hertz seemed to give me a little micro stutter. So I changed that from 60 hertz to 59 hertz, and that seems to have solved the stutter issue that I was seeing. And then the last thing I changed down here was there's this option here for force mode zero. It was set to force mode zero equals zero, and I changed it to force mode zero equals one. That seems to have really helped the frame rate. I was seeing in the second and third level when lots of characters would come on screen that the frame rate would drop into the 20s and it was really drawing so after i made this switch it seems fairly stable the frames don't drop near as often it's, it's much stabler to play so there's a couple of little quick updates for you just wanted to share these tips for you if you happen to be replaying this game like me talk to you guys later Who knows? I'm not even sure myself. Regardless, you have proved your strength. I acknowledge your ability. Take my soul and go forth. You have my blessing. This just keeps getting better and better. 